So we have a Xiaomi Router 3 Pro, which is quite a nice little router, although I don't really like the original firmware that comes with it. It also occasionally gets, well, I don't know, bricked when you're flashing firmware. One of the good tricks to do is to be able to uh, have a serial port on it. Uh, as you can see, this device doesn't really have any ports. Just USB, power, and well, WAN and three LAN ports besides the Wi-Fi. So you can't really plug anything into it. So it means we have to open it up and well, solder one on. So flip it over, peel back these feet, and there's a screw under each of them. There's one. Yes, one of these has a little sticker that says warranty void. So you know what you're doing when you're taking it out apart and opening it up. Oh, is that foot? And if you have something like a, a knife that's quite thin and well not too sharp, you can lever out these uh, plastic end covers from either the well, one side or the other side, the little catches are there. Let's try this side because we can get in there. There we go. No, I can't quite slide it. <laughs> Take the other one out. There we go. Now, one piece of aluminium. Okay, so right over here, you can see three volts RX for receive, ground, and TX for transmit of these four holes. So that's where we will add a little header, basically one of these. And I think, based on the amount of space on the side of the PCB, how close the aluminium housing is, that probably coming in from the other side is the best and soldering it like that. So we'll do that. Trusty soldering iron. A little bit of solder. Okay, bridge that one there. Way too much solder. Grab the little ball. Not really what solder wicks for, but I'm going to take a little bit off anyway. I'll definitely overkill the solder, but I promise you, uh, soldering via camera is not the easiest thing. At least not a skill I've mastered. So now that we have these pins here, we can uh, plug in something like one of these. It's just a USB to, well, serial converter. And you can see it's got the pins marked here. It goes upside down. You see we've got uh, ground, RX, TX, 5 volt and 3 volt. Kind of important that you don't use the 5 volt if this side is asking for 3 volts. So don't use that second from the bottom one <laughs> for this one, this purpose at least. So I'd do it like so and just leave the 5 volt unplugged. Uh, and then just remember that the RX on this side goes to the TX on this side and the TX on this side goes to the RX, so TX to RX and RX to TX, which makes sense. Whatever is being transmitted by the one side needs to be received by the other, and of course it needs to receive what's being transmitted by the other side. Cool. Put it back in its case. You can 
see these tabs at the bottom don't match up, but they do match up if you put it the right way around. Now, we should be able to pop the side cover off, be able to access this without taking out the four screws anymore. So, that'll make life easier. Missing, missing foot. So yeah, there we go. Should be a bit easier to just plug into if we need to in the future. Remember, on the right if you're looking from the top. <laughs> 